Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed Shadud. Today we are going to talk about Laravel events and listener with Q tutorial. So let's create events and listeners in Laravel and use Q and task scheduling feature to process them in the background without affecting the speed of our website. Uh, Laravel provides an observer uh, pattern implementation that can watch an event in our web application and the process actions according to that event. Let's say if a user registers, we send a welcome email so that the registration is the event and the listener is the action of sending the welcome email. In other words, Laravel event class observe and listener class do the action. One event can have many listeners. For example, when the user registers, we can send a welcome email or send a verification email. Another event when the user purchases an order, we create a listener for sending um, a confirmation email with an invoice and another listener to decrease the stock in our database. And we can create one more listener to check if an order's item become best-selling uh, or not. Uh, why should we use event and listener? Because there are so many other ways to do uh, the, same, the same thing. So, uh, actually, it will keep our code clean, following solid principle and uh, easy to reuse and maintenance, since it's already existed in Laravel documentation and easy to work with queues I believe that's one good observer pattern. So uh, let's get it started. But I just want you to know that uh, this article on my website, ahmedshaltu.com, and there are so many uh, other uh, useful articles about Laravel. Uh, let's get started. Okay, first here we have uh, our login controller. As you can see, after the user get logged in, uh, we send them uh, a notification via Laravel notification. So first, we need to, to make our event, which be artisan make event, logged in. Then we create our listener, PHB make listener, send login notification, an email notification. Okay. Here is our logged in uh, event, as you can see. And it's our listener. Laravel will create uh, two directory in your app uh, folder. Uh, then we need to uh, register our event in event service uh, provider. We have an array um, called listen. We add um, the event as an index and uh, the value will be uh, an array of the listener, as you are going to see here. The index will be our uh, uh, class name, logged in class. And then the listener, as you can see. So here is uh, our uh, only listener, send login notification class. Now we just registered our logged in event. Okay, inside uh, inside it we need to cre to create an uh, user instance inside it. So we add a constructor as a user, so we can uh, that would be a parameter when we dispatch the event. And from it we can send the notification to that user.
that's all. Nothing new about the event here. So let's uh, create our or edit our listener here in handle. We need uh, to get all the data inside the event and the user as well. So here is our notification event and we get the user uh, from the constructor and we implement a queue so we can run uh, our listener in background after we respond to the request. The login notification. Interact, use interact with queue. Uh, we will try five times if the queue failed. Just try five times. Okay, that's inside our login. We call our login control, we call the logged in event so we can dispatch it. So let's remove that. Logged in, dispatch, and we add the user as the first parameter. Now let's install Laravel Q, PHP Artisan Q table, just to add a queue for uh, a queue, a job table inside our database. It created a migration. Then PHP Artisan migrate. We added a job queue uh, or job table in our database. And in .in file, we need uh, to make the queue connection database. We can add Redis or whatever uh, queue. Let's see all the available queues here. Um, config queue.php. We have an array of connections. Okay, we have uh, so many options here. We are using uh, database. Okay, we just logged in in our system and uh, the email uh, was queued or the event was queued. Now we can run the queue via PHP Arts in Q work. It's our job table. Okay, now it's done and the email was sent. Okay. Okay, let's add uh, our queue to the uh, you know, schedule. This Laravel uh, task scheduling, it's, uh, it's such a good feature. Here it can run uh, this artisan command for us. As you can see here, schedule command, queue work every minute. So it will run every minute. We can add it to cron job. And learn more about it in a lot of the documentation. It's so helpful. Okay, and here is all the available uh, timing uh, functions. This is a queue here. 
بيتش بي ليتسرانيت بيتش بي ارتسن سكادول ران تكيكيو تران اور ارتسن كمان دي هيك واو That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if that was a useful video for you. Thank you. Goodbye.